Up next is the 5100 ride height adjustable shock. This is probably the most economical and best way to level out your vehicle on late model half ton trucks and SUVs. These are designed for applications that came original equipment with a factory coilover. Basically how this is done is you've got a spring seat which rests on a snap ring and you've got multiple snap ring positions. Now this little snap ring may not look extremely strong but I can assure you that this is an OEM specified part and actually the spring seat would fail way sooner than the snap ring would actually come out. But how this works is that the snap ring can be moved into different positions. This one being for a Toyota Tacoma, you've got stock ride height position, a one inch lift, two inch, and a two and a half inch lift. 5100 series ride height adjustable shocks are tuned for each specific application. They also have digressive valving. In addition, they all carry a lifetime warranty. I want to take a more in-depth look at why a Bilstein 5100 ride height adjustable is a big improvement over a spacer kit. Now there's two basic spacer kits on the market today. We have something called a strut extension and then we also have a preload kit. A strut extension is a spacer that's put on top of the coilover assembly. Basically it, it spaces the whole assembly down. A coilover preload spacer is basically fit in between the upper mount and preloads the coil. Next, I want to draw your attention to the variance and extended lengths across all of these different kits. Um, these are all for the same application. This is for late model Toyota pickup or FJ Cruiser. The 5100 is actually providing maximum amount of wheel travel. When we designed this shock for the vehicle and we brought the vehicles in and did the testing, we essentially wanted to get as much wheel travel out of the vehicle without causing any binding issues whatsoever. And if you look at this, you got about another inch more travel at the shock. Now if you compare that to the strut extension, you'll notice that it's way, way past the full extension and essentially you're in the danger zone here. What's going to happen with the strut extension is you're essentially overextending the suspension. You're going to have driveline problems. You're going to have ball joint problems. In many cases, the upper A-arm will hit the coil spring on the outside and cause a big banging noise. So, as you can see, the Bilstein 5100 is the perfect setup. It's not cr creating overextension, and it's giving you the maximum amount of wheel travel without harming any of the suspension components.